Hello, welcome back to All About the Smokies. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Quality Inn near the island in Pigeon Forge. Let's take a look. All right, we always have to start in the bathroom. Why do we start in the bathroom? That's just what we do. It's an important room. Right, see, take a look like this. Looks like it's recently been updated. I don't know how recent, but it's kind of a neat. It's different. It's not something you normally see. It does have a bathtub. Okay. There's the one sink vanity here. Little closet. And this is what's interesting. I thought it's like a little kitchenette type thing, but instead of having the mini fridge and everything out there, you've got a mini fridge down here. You got a little coffee maker here and a microwave up here. So it's not like normally where you have it all out here. And this is interesting too. This is just a dresser. Like it's not built in anything else. You've got plenty of space to uh, put your clothes. We're going to stay for more than one night, I guess. Um, the furniture in this room, it's more of what you would see in somebody's home. You can see the end table there. It's just kind of just, just basic, basic wood headboards there. Do a quick pan around. You can see walls. I do like when they include four pillows because each person gets two that way, so that makes it nice. Let's see what they have going on here. Um, it looks like just a plug. Just a plug. Nothing. No USBs on that. I mean, it's better than nothing. Better than nothing. Some standard TV here. Let's take a look at this view. Uh, there's not going to be a good view really here, but let's go ahead and step outside. Let me grab the card. Let's go ahead and step outside so you can see. I'm up on the fourth floor. And if I walk to the end of this area here. This is why they call it near the island. Across the street there is Margaritaville Hotel and right there you can see is the sign for the island. You got the Pirates Adventure uh, Dinner Theater right across the street from here. So you're very close to pretty much everything. A couple little restaurants and things that are in walking distance from this place so as far as location goes you want to be in Pigeon Forge it's a, it's a good location let's walk down this way and then the views from this side are just going to be trees mostly parking lot um, yeah right next door here you have the firehouse subs and here's the pool area we have some of the seating and it stays pretty warm. You can feel the heat just kind of rolling out of here. The place was hopping last night. So here's my final review of the Quality Inn in Pigeon Forge near the island. Um, let's talk about the pros real quick. The pros of that hotel location, right? Um, it is near everything. It's located right in the smack dab in the middle of everything that you want to do in Pigeon Forge. And it's close to everything. Um, a little weird to get in and out, but then you have to backtrack a little to, to turn around if you're going a different direction. But that's true with anything right there on the strip. So the location was great. Positives. I mean, it seemed seemed clean enough like I didn't see um, dirt hair bugs so that was um, 
That was a big positive. Uh, oh, another positive. The, the pool seemed fine. I didn't swim in it, um, but a lot of people were down there enjoying it. So, and the room down there felt really warm. So that was that was nice. So, um, I'm sure people really appreciate that little pool. Um, negatives. So, the bed comfort was. Uh, probably one of the worst that I've slept in and, and I understand it's you know every mattress some get used more than others depending on how they book rooms um, I will say I tried both mattresses two different queen beds and they both felt the same they were lumpy and stiff um, I usually fall asleep pretty quickly in really good beds at really nice hotels I my head hits the pillow and I am out. Um, I could not fall asleep. I tossed and turned for for what felt like a half hour, trying to find a comfortable spot to fall asleep. So um, that was my experience. That was my experience. I felt like price could have been cheaper. I guess you're paying for location. So the total was. Um, 144.80. So I guess that's not too bad. I was thinking it was more than that for some reason. So, so I guess price was 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 okay. Well, that would be another positive. That was with tax. So that's that's reasonable, especially for the location. If you're looking for a a cheap cheap hotel, that isn't it. But if you're looking for one that's reasonably priced, I, I'd say that would be a positive. Noise wise, there was no noise. Now I could see if you were located near a pool. Um, where the pool is, that can be really noisy. That's true for any hotel. So I guess. Um, I wasn't disturbed by anybody running up and down. Uh, they did have me top floor, tucked all the way around to the back side of the hotel, and there was no one on either side of me, so um, it, it could be just that there was no one, no one around me, but I didn't have any issue with noise myself. The bed comfort, it's really important, really important, and it felt kind of outdated in there too, so. Uh, the other negative was the parking lot, and I'm sure that it could have been worse it was quite a ways away from from the hotel entrance that I had to park so usually when you have a hotel you have the hotel here and then the parking just kind of goes around the building so you can evenly distribute where people can can park so they're all close to the building this was one little sliver near the building and then the rest across this, the little alley or the little road there so it just wasn't an ideal setup for that one entrance that people were coming in. Overall, the stay was fine. If, if a person was looking to, to save a little bit of money but still be in the middle of the action, I could see uh, staying there. I Would I stay there again? No, probably not. Uh, there, there are several other hotels that we really love in Pigeon Forge that I would stay at first. So that's that's my opinion now if you have a different opinion you have a different different experience by all means leave it in the comments below I know the best Western hotel review struck a chord with a few of you and you uh, told me that uh, I was wrong I am telling you strictly my my opinion my opinion uh, and my experience so that's what these videos are I'm taking you along on the journey giving you my experience so that was it that was my experience so if you guys want to see any other hotels or restaurants or, or attractions, things that you want to see me cover here on this channel, please, by all means, leave it down in the comments below. But this has been a review and another video in the Great Smoky Mountains. I hope you have a great day. God bless.